a skillful crew can pull off a sudden, hard-hitting and often deadly attack. But an equally skilled crew can often defend against one. When this does happen, whether you ultimately win or lose can come down to one thing. Logistics. Battle stations! Battle stations! Man is spotted bearing 335 hot! Greetings, carry commanders. I've seen some questions recently about how to get logistics working. Um, there's been a few uh, confused posts on discords and uh, on some of the Steam forum threads. And so I thought I'd help try and demystify that a bit today. So I'm going to go over some, some of the simple aspects of logistics, but then once you've done that, hopefully get into the more interesting kind of the, the real stuff about logistics. Um, so in Carry Command 2, the, at its simplest, logistics is simply making stuff, asking for stuff, and delivering stuff. Basically anything you need, from bullets to aircraft to torpedoes and fuel. Um, it's changed a little bit since the multi-carrier update was added. Um, there were a couple of other iterations of um, logistics management in earlier versions, but I'm, I'm going to go with. I'm going to explain the current version of uh, as of uh, September 2023. Um, now, the way it works, which you probably already know, is uh, you have these islands, these factory islands, which you can request to build things that cost a certain amount of money. So we can go and build, a, for example, a, a ground vehicle camera here for 50 credits and the factory will queue it up to be built and you'll see that it'll gradually try and make it. So it's, it's at the moment it's building this AWAX radar. When it's finished doing that, it'll switch over to building the next thing I've asked to and it'll start constructing it once it's finished refitting. Um, you can only build things that you have islands that can build and islands where and that you have uh, blueprints that you've unlocked if you're playing the kind of game that has locked blueprints on some of the islands. So, how do you get things delivered to your ship? We've queued up building things um, and the factories have dutifully created them. So we've got a bear there, we've got an AWAX radar here, and we've got an observation camera stored. How do we get them off of those islands? Now, um, rather than wait for this barge to get all the way over there, I'm, I'm just going to get something that's in the inventory in the warehouse, in the starting warehouse. So when you start most games, you'll you'll have some supplies ready on hand that you can pick up and take with you. So it's as though we've got a hundred infrared missiles, for example, constructed already. So let's say I want some more of those infrared missiles. So we go to the item in the stock tab click on it and I want 10 please click escape and there we go we've got ten, an order of 10 more infrared missiles now this is probably where people get a bit confused uh, and certainly where it takes a, um, a bit of thinking to understand why it works this way so but what we'll do is we'll, we'll set our barge we'll pick one of them we'll give it a waypoint to go to beacon so now this barge will go here and it's sitting right next to Beacon. And we'll look at the barge in the tab. It's waiting a beacon. It's idle. It's doing nothing. So it didn't pick anything up. That barge is completely empty. But we ordered some missiles. So what's going wrong here? Well, since the multi-carrier update, the barge now needs to know which carrier wants what. So it, it won't just randomly pick up, otherwise you could imagine every barge that's near an island will pick up everything that every other carrier wants. So what we have to do to get bar our barge to pick up what my carrier here wants, we 
you have to tell it to go to the carrier after at some point in its route so it can actually work out what's requested. So let's try it again. So we go waypoints, wait for it to flash, drag it to the first island, and then drag it to my carrier. And that's the one I'm on now. And you'll see it's now just starting to load up. So the barge will fill up with everything it can get from that island that's on our order list. And you'll see it flips over to being in the in transit list. So now it's at Beacon currently and it should start driving. Yep, there we go. It's just decided it's got everything it can from Beacon and now it's going to come to my carrier and deliver everything. So I hinted earlier that um, there's a bit more to logistics than simply ordering things and changing sliders and spending money. Um, any navy worth its salt uh, practices uh, delivering things to ships while at sea. The Royal Navy call this a RAS or replenishment at sea. I believe the United States Navy called it an um, unrep for an underway replenishment. And it's the same, that's, that's the main way of you delivering things to your carrier in the game. And much like real life, uh, your cargo ships, in which case the barges, need to get to your carrier and get close enough to start offloading cargo. Now we don't quite have the uh, big cables strung from ship to ship, but they do need to be within a few hundred meters to offload. And what can happen is you order a barge to come to you and it gets there, it slows down, it starts unloading and then your carrier suddenly comes out of range and the barge has to begin loading, unloading that cargo again. It can take five, ten times longer than normal to get the load off the car load off the ships. Um, and so the way you have to deal with this is you have to make sure that your barges are um, keeping up with the carrier and either you do that either by slowing the carrier down or by taking manual control over a barge and uh, making sure it stays close by. So ferrying stuff around with barges isn't the only way of resupplying a carrier. If you're playing a game where you have multiple ships on your team, the fastest way of getting aircraft the missiles, spare torpedoes and a little bit of fuel from ship to ship is actually to fly in there and the most obvious way of doing that is to pack up a load of mantas with what you need and send them to the other ship pretty easy to do, pretty effective and allows you to resupply and uh, set up a second strike wave and, and things like that at a great distance one of your carriers can sit at a uh, island with a barge producing aircraft or producing fuel and you can send your air supplies off by air really quite rapidly. There is a third way of resupply uh, if you're quite desperate and have the equipment for it and the Royal Navy call this a vert rip or vertical replenishment. And the way you do it in Carrier Command 2 is you make use of the mule. Now the great thing about the mule is um, you can put quite a lot of equipment on it and send it from one place to another. You can put ammunition, so bullets, if your friendly carrier is running low on seawiz ammunition, you can put an ammunition box in and fill it up with 20mm ammo. But you can also put quite a lot of fuel on. You can put enough fuel in there to resupply um, six, seven, eight ground vehicles. You can also put infrared missiles on. And you configure your mule like this, you launch it, pick it up with a petrol and fly it to uh, a friendly ship. It's definitely not the most efficient way of doing things, but if you do have a friendly carrier that's far away and has run out of fuel or has 
cut off from supplies or even if you run out of barges if you, if you lost your last barge um, sending one supply run like this could be the difference between life and death delivering a fully loaded meal like this every IR box can have 4 IR missiles 20mm box can have 10 reloads for 20mm seawiz and so you can take quite a lot of stuff if you're prepared to put the time in to get a meal ready and load up the last big thing to remember about logistics is the enemy has to do it too and if you can have any opportunity at all to disrupt their supply chains to do um, things like sink barges then okay. you really should take advantage There's of it. another missile. Missiles from the island. I think it suggests we okay. shoot the barge and go home, question mark? Yes, I like that. They literally don't have any of the barges. We sink this thing. They're basically out for a while. Alright, let's do it. Okay, engaging the barge. Yeah, there's a turret on the island shooting at us. That's They're the way. aware we're in the area. Avros? Bedrock. Up Bedrock, yes. Yeah, Bedrock's ours. Barge is right. stationary. Yep. Pickle times five. <laughs> One dead barge. <laughs>